I love Google Photos and how easy it is to send my pictures to Google Displays, the, the, the home display, the Google Home Display that I have uh, at home and here in the studio. But those photos are my memories and I have to have a backup. You should have one too. However, if your goal is to move your pictures to Apple Photos, this video will also help you. Let's take a look at it. Go to takeout.google.com and you see all the Google services you can download, the data from those services. The procedure is the same, but today we'll only deal with pictures, with photos. So the first thing I do here is deselect all because they are all selected. And then I go down there and look for Google Photos. Here it is, select it. Now we can choose all the albums, all the pictures, but if you go down here again, you see the pictures by ears. And what I do is when a next ear starts, I download all the pictures from the previous ear. So you can do the same here, deselect all and choose, let's say, I'm gonna choose 2006, just as an example. Okay, so, okay, now, we go down here, next tab, and here you can choose how you want the pictures to be downloaded. There are many options. You can add them to your Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or Box. I prefer uh, the email. This is what is selected here. You can even set it to download every two months, but I'm not doing that. Then choose the format, zip is good. And since I have a good internet connection, I'm gonna choose four gigabytes. So now Google will prepare zip files with photos inside them, but the maximum size will be four gigabytes and maybe you have more than one file to download. So create it. This is gonna be quick. I'm sure I'll receive the email in a couple of minutes or maybe one hour, but depending on the number of pictures you selected, it may take many hours or even a day. This was pretty fast. I just turned it off the camera and went to my email to wait for the file to finish the recording here, but it was already there. This is what the email looks like. And now we have to click here, download files. Next, click here, download. As you can see here, there are other files. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna happen with you. These ones are here because I was practicing this video before recording it. After unzipping, you may get two different file types for each picture. As you can see here, there is JPEG and also JSON. If you have changed any information on that picture, the date or the location, anything on that picture, you'll also get this companion file. If you haven't changed anything, just ignore it. You can filter it by kind here, select all your pictures and drag them to Apple Photos. The pictures will now be added to Apple Photos. If you use iCloud, it may take a while to upload them to the cloud. However, if you changed the metadata, you have to first use another software to merge the two files, the picture and the metadata before dragging them to Apple Pictures, Apple Photos, right? Yeah, Apple Photos. It yeah, it was never Apple Pictures. <laughs> I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching. See you soon.